Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a text-to-3D solution called Luma AI Imagine 3D. Now, this is not new. This came out like last year. It was announced, but today they are expanding the access to this right here. So if you want to try this out, go ahead and join their waitlist. Obviously, I don't have access to this yet, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is all about. So instead of like text to image, like what y'all have been seeing a lot of, this is more like text to 3D. And granted, I know these models don't really look good, but at the same time, this is very, very, very early on technology. Uh, here's some of the um, models that people who had access kind of generated from, which is kind of cool. You can kind of see them. Additionally, you can just search for a 3D model here if you want to. They're not bad, honestly. I mean, this alien right here doesn't look too bad. That could be like a video game. You just rig it up and that could be a potentially a video game character that you can use. The technology itself is pretty amazing. And what's crazy about this is now this is the same company that has the Luma AI app where you can take your iPhone and pretty much 3D scan anything around you. So it's very interesting. Uh, but what I'm curious about is I wonder if they're going to use the data from that app to feed the AI for this app right here. I mean, I can only imagine it would only make sense. But again, this is pretty darn cool. If I look at this little plane they have, is this going to replace 3D artists right now? Probably not yet. Uh, because as you can see, it's it's still not there. It's still pretty much so like this reminds me of like PS1 graphics. So we're obviously going to need more time, uh, need more data for it to be useful. But eventually, maybe one day, my kids were making a video about, you know, text to 3D that looks just amazing. 10 to 20 years from now, uh, we would get there. But for now, you know, this is what we have. Um, and yeah, if you want to check it out and actually try out the the software, go ahead and join their waitlist and just see if you can get access to this so you can go ahead and do your own text prompt. All right, if you all have any questions, let me know. I am having a live stream today, 360 VR. Uh, so you can bring your MetaQuest, your Vive, you can use it. It's going to be at 2.30 Pacific time. And yeah, just come hang out. We'll talk about, I usually just talk about anything and everything. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.